launching tonight, the first civilian-only crew will head to the International Space Station aboard SpaceX's crew capsule known as the Crew Dragon. Ryuji Sasaki will tell us the details live. Yes, Ryuji? Kath, flown by aerospace company Axiom Space to the Earth's low orbit, the crew will spend eight days at the International Space Station. They will conduct 25 experiments in the station, which includes human physiology experiments and the use of a two-way 3D hologram using Microsoft's HoloLens. The civilian crew is made up of Canadian investor Mark Pathy, American real estate investor Larry Connor, and former Air Force pilot Ethan Steeb. They will also be accompanied by former NASA astronaut and now the Vice President of Action, Michael Lopez Alegria. Aside from the price of $55 million per seat, all four members had to complete over 750 to 1,000 hours of training to make them eligible for their roles, according to Larry Connor, one of the crew members. In the last six years of development, SpaceX has proven to be successful after flying two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station, becoming the first to do so. Meanwhile, the CEO of Axiom Space, Mike uh, Sufredini, de describes the event as the first step for ordinary civilians who are interested in traveling to the Earth's lower orbit commercially, an event which is, is expected to become more common in the future. Kath? So, Ryuji, how much would a day in the International Space Station cost up to? Kath, they say the use of systems at the International Space Station is just like a fancy hotel expense. To use the life support system and toilet, you would have to pay $11,250. That with all other necessities like food, exercise, and emergency equipment, a day at the station for just one person can cost to $22,500. Back to you, Kath. Thank you, Ryuji Sasaki, for that live report.